So today's challenge is we've got our room booking panel outside the room, but we're unable to check out early so we can release the room and let someone else try it. So if I walk up and reserve the panel, let's do it for now for a few minutes. It is now reserved and this is what I see as a user. Once it's reserved, it's got that ad hoc meeting so I can see it on the front of room. I can walk in, start that uh, scheduled call, but I can't do anything else to that meeting. So what can we do? Well, within the platform, the defaults are nothing is enabled. So we need to go into the device settings. We fire into here and we need our device. So we need to know the serial number. So we'll actually go into get that from here. And then we dive into our admin settings. And once we are logged in, we can go to Teams admin settings. Now, what we'll notice here are this is where we can change our wallpapers. Uh, on Neat, we only have the ability for red, so it's irrelevant. But here, everything is turned off. So we have to turn it back on or turn them on. Uh, some of this can be done through a configuration profile within Teams Admin Center. So we can release the room if no one checks in, say, within five minutes. The good thing here with a, a Teams panel paired with a Microsoft Teams room on Android is that it will automatically check in if you start that meeting. So we have room equipment, allow room reservations, allow checkout early. So that's what we need there. However, there's, what, there's another setting that's hidden. And first of all, we must pair our device. So just like you pair, pair a pad or central room console with the front of room, we have to pair the outside Teams panel with the room as well when we have the central room console and the bar at that first setup. So we pair it exactly the same way. We get our code from the front of room display that pops up and we enter that. And this means that the pad and bar are now paired. This is for Teams rooms on Android. And what that gives us now, if we go into meetings, we see we've got send in check in notifications that allows you to check into the room. And it also allows us to have room notifications. So when that is turned on, you get a notification on the home screen. So now let's go back to our home screen and we will be able to see the difference. So now we have room equipment. So if you've got listed anything in exchange, that will be shown there. And we can also now manage this conference. So we can extend the meeting, extend room reservation. This can also now be done also inside the room with the latest uh, April update, but it requires a pro license uh, for the room system uh, to extend it from the central room console. We then also have this checkout button. So this will now end my reservation early. So as you can see, it's reserved and it now becomes available. So that's simply how you can enable that option to control the meeting and make up the room free again if you do do it. Obviously, a lot of user training involved, making sure the users do check out once they've finished their meeting. If they're booked for an hour, but only been 40 minutes, check out of the room. There's no intelligence to say, oh, the room's empty, must check out. And there you have it setting up the Teams panel to have these advanced features. Any questions, let me know.